The teleport to target spell has been basically useless for the last five years. But Goose finds use of it, getting him right next to his target who rushes him straight away. A 96 mil anti-rush. I bet he regrets dumping his special attacks on this Goose. A short while later, Goose is fighting his target, who accidentally safes up out of fear. My bad, G. Looks like the prior safing didn't help much, and for 240 mil. And he once again uses the teleport to target spell to get right to his target, who was trying to exit through the barrier. Even Abbott Langley would have been smited by that much damage, securing another Void Waker for yet another 200 mil. And in this video, we're making the case that PvP is more profitable than ever before. Kyle is looking for his target, but he's in a big stack of people at the entrance portal. Is, is this guy AFK? Holy, a 476 mil PK. The guy had both a volatile and harmonized nightmare staff, which both belong to Kyle now. Friendly reminder to put your pop tarts in the toaster before entering the bounty under crater. Alice Rag is fighting a high risker when something unfortunate happens. <laughs> The race is on. Seven hundred and eighty seven mil. These loot keys are ridiculous. Bounty Hunter is very profitable for those with the strength to conquer. Wait, why am I not PKing right now? That's it. We're shutting down this channel. Come on, guys. We're all going to Bounty Hunter. Hello and welcome back to RuneScape Chronicles, bringing you daily uploads from all corners of RuneScape. Now back onto Bounty Hunter, it has been considered a massive success by the player base and Jagex. So much so that the Jagex team had to add a bunch of new Bounty Hunter specific servers because the first two were getting overcrowded. Most of the player base is having a great time, except for skill specs. Yo! Yo, he's... Please. Dying on my hard cry, man. Complete <laughs> Ah, man, I swear to God, bro. Ah, oh, man. He spent his entire first Bounty Hunter stream grinding out a cosmetic kit for the Knee It's Not Helmet. A new reward from Bounty Hunter. When he finally unlocked the skin, he excitedly charged into Damon's crater, where he almost immediately died and lost it. Yo, can we talk about one more time how, how, the, how they totally f***ing roasted skill specs in the blog post? Yo, like, like, how do you, how do you take an L on, like, the RuneScape official blog post? Okay, the reasoning here is effectively the same as above and will be able to refund your points for one copy of any kits that you lost, meaning that if you spent your whole stream chasing a Neats Not Helmet kit and lost it in your very next fight, you should be able to buy it back following tomorrow's cool fix. Dude, they got him so bad. They got, they got him so bad. Oof. At least Skill Specs has a fan working at Jagex. Darok's armor is some of the oldest armor in RuneScape, but don't underestimate it. Doobie Dobbies is having a rough time against this guy. No f***ing shot! You 92 me and then f***ing 84! What? How? You're the luckiest f***ing guy! No! No, that's not allowed! That shouldn't be f***ing allowed! Be warned, the goose is loose and he's got a sneaky trick for bounty hunter targets. You can't normally player jack someone in the bounty hunter crater but you can if they are your target. This can lead to some insane stacks.
very sneaky tactics from the goose. And this sneaky trick has been done for many years. It's as old as Bounty Hunter itself. Danks is fighting his target when... Imagine like he gets a target, you know what I mean? And the f and his target comes in and like f**ks him up somehow. What did I just say? Yep, anybody can be killed at any time. Despite that, that doesn't stop Odoblock from risking 40 Elijah Spirit Shields. Look, 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 one HP. And I still risked it, you understand? Because I know I had first hit before him. Because I'm a tick before him. And I, look, imagine one spec, I had 11 HP, I would have died. He was fighting his target, so couldn't be PJ'd. But still, he was just sitting on 10 hit points with that risk insane person. Not everybody is happy with the possibility of lowering the price of the bounty hunter armors. I would not mind it. I would not mind it being um kept the same. Router seems to agree. I actually don't think it's that bad where it's at now. It's expensive and it's kind of a grind to get, but you get to keep it once you get it, right? So like, I don't think it's bad if they want to make it hard to get. Many players seem to believe that the upgrade cost is appropriate, considering that many of these are one-time permanent unlocks. We'll have to see which way the scale tips next week. I mean, I'm gonna f that guy up later. Remember his name, guys. Pure Inferno. F loser, we're gonna get him. Hold that thought. It's a banger. Mate, did I smite him as well? Bro, we're a smiting machine. Ooh, that was quick. He heads back out to find the fight he was looking for. Have you seen what he's doing to me? He spent like half an hour stream snipe rushing me over and over again. And now he's like over brewing and running a million miles away. Watch, watch. <laughs> Back with Perp, but uh, he's made a mistake. Dead. I'm dead. I should not have died to that. I clicked between my manta ray. Did you notice? Chat tried to warn him. Wait! Was I using 1k knives? No! I was! I did the same thing as the dude yesterday! Oh my god. Well, it was a rookie mistake. But the cost of those arrows from yesterday's video covers it. Slow down, perp. Pure spam experiences resurrection. I Bro, I was like... That was tick perfect. I was like, no way am I dead here. Surely not. Jesus Christ, that was scary. The door gives life again. Congrats, Pure Spam. All I've got to say for everyone complaining about Purdue being five steps in, in Ferox Enclave, yeah? Stop dying. I guess that would solve the problem. Intoxicated is one of the biggest raid lovers in the game. Just look at his name. But Theater of Blood is more nerve wracking on a hardcore Iron Man. No, we got a perp on the last one! No way! No way we got a perp on the last one! Please be saying! Please be saying! Please be saying! Yo! Let's go! Let's f***ing go, bro! Holy f***! The passive healing will help keep that helmet red. Enjoy your new staff. Dino is feeling confident today. You are just in time to witness a harmonized orb smite. I have just thrown. I. 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 In the community spotlight today, we have Frey, who recently started a series where he's going for one pet at a time. Once he's done one pet rolling activity, he can't do a different one until he actually rolls the pet. And his series and channel is growing quickly. No fing way! No fing way! We just got the fing Phoenix! And there it is, he just got his first pet. The Phoenix pet. Some people go 200 million XP dry before getting this one. So he's a lucky guy. Good luck on your next pet journey. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you to our members and we'll see you in the next one.